We are now ready for the thin lens. So it's going to be two spherical surfaces close together. And let's just consider paraxial rays. So a ray is close to the optical axis and that makes small angles with the optical axis. All right, let's get a drawing going of a thin lens. Here's one. It's got two uh, curved surfaces. It's made of some index N2 and it's in a medium of index N1. And the surfaces will even calculate if they have different radii. Don't even have to be, doesn't even have to be symmetric. So we're going to think about an object over here and an object with an object distance SO. So just like we thought about the distance to just the curved surface of solid glass, we'll have the same definition here to the front of the lens. And we're going to think about this in two steps. The way we're going to do it is first imagine that this is a solid piece of glass and just do our first refraction and create an image. We'll call it I prime and it's at a distance, an image distance SI prime. And the reason we call those prime is those aren't real. That's an intermediate image that we're going to think about that's going to help us solve the problem. So we're going to have an intermediate image and it's going to act like an object for the second surface. So first, let's write our um, refraction equation for this first case. So n1 uh, over the object distance plus n2 over the intermediate image distance, si prime equals n2 minus n1 over the radius of this first surface that we're thinking about. Okay, now we are going to imagine this i prime as the object and it's at a distance so prime. Right? So the object distance is so prime and it's going to refract at this curved surface, curved the other way and the indices are flipped and it's going to create an image back here due to the curvature in the indices. And we're going to call that the image distance SI because that's real, right? That's the actual image that this crazy setup really is forming. So we're going to take the prime off because we're not talking about an intermediate image anymore. We're talking about a real image at SI. So for that one, we would write, we start in N2 and that would be at SO prime. We're going to N1 at SI. And it shows up there. And since the curvature is backwards and the radius and all this stuff, we put a negative sign on this basically. It's N1 minus N2 over R2. Because now we're thinking of an internal uh, to external refraction. And then what we're going to do now is we want to deal with these. And we want to use them in a way that we get rid of the whole intermediate image part. We just want to think about the real object and the real image. So we're going to add them. And really, we want these two terms to go away because this one involves the uh, intermediate image distance and this one involves treating the intermediate image as an object distance. And for a thin lens, we can get rid of them because we can say SO prime equals minus SI prime. Right? You can see the difference of those two. So here's SI prime is all the way through the lens and the object distance only goes to the back surface of the lens. But the lens is really thin. They're basically the same. But then our definitions of how we set the problems up bring in the negative sign. Okay? So this is fine. It's positive as an SI. But now that you're treating it as an object on the other side of the lens, it's on the wrong side. And that's how we call it negative. So I could write this, I guess, SI equals negative SO prime. Negative can go on either side, doesn't matter. So if you do that and you add these two, then you can make the substitution uh, here and you can say this equals N2 over negative SI prime. And you can see that makes those two terms cancel. Right? So these two terms are going to cancel when we add it together. And we're going to end up with whatever is left, N1 over the object distance. plus um, N1 over the image distance. 
and that's going to be equal to this side when we add these two, and this is going to be equal to, let's see, we can pull out an N2 minus N1, and that's going to leave us 1 over R1, and then there's a negative sign here, minus 1 over R2. So this equation describes how a thin lens, a thin spherical lens, refracts light and creates an image from an object. Because the only thing going in is where do you put the object? Somewhere out here. Where does the image end up? Somewhere in there. And then properties of the lens. The index of refraction and the two radii. So we'll, now we're going to see how that behaves. <laughs>